Hi friends. So you might be wondering why did I buy this Jabra Elite Active 4 earbuds? Let me go get it first. So these are my previous earbuds which I bought for my Samsung phone and I bought these wired earbuds because my phone has a USB Type-C port and this earbud also has a proper USB Type-C. So this earbud was kind of made specifically for this phone. But the thing about these earbuds is that it is very loose. It will come off. So then I realized I should buy some Bluetooth earbuds. So I started to research all of the Bluetooth earbuds there is. And let me just tell you, there are a lot of earbuds out there. Sony WF-1000X M4, Panasonic RZ, Sony WF-C5, Cambridge, Bose Quiet Comfort, Apple Airpods, Jaybird Vis, Earfan, Sennheiser, JBL Roof. There was just too many earbuds out there, so I realized I had to make a list of all the things that I want in a earbud. So I had to write everything that I want down on a book. So getting my book from my bag and getting a pen, I start to write everything. So I want an earbud, which is cheap. I also wanted to have a very good battery life. And I also want earbuds which don't fall off my ear. So I wanted to have a stable fit. But I don't want those earbuds to have wing tips because I don't really like them. And lastly, I also wanted to have good audio. So with these options, it kind of narrows down my search. <sighs> there are so many earbud terms which I don't understand. For example, the term ANC. What is ANC in earbuds? Bluetooth codec, AAC, SBC, APTX. What is Bluetooth codec? What is IP rating? Too expensive, bad IP rating. After hours of just coming to sit on my chair and just researching about earbuds, I have no food left and my work is piling up. And then I found Jabra. Jabra has ergonomic Jim Woody earbuds. There's so many Jabra versions out there. There's Jabra Elite 75T, Jabra Elite 85T, Jabra Elite 4 Active, Jabra Elite 5 Active. But these are all names which I don't understand. So I had to see the specs of it. So I found this website called The Sound Guys. And I also found another website called Ratings. And like these two websites basically rate earbuds. And there might be more famous websites out there, but these are the two that I use. These websites, they provide all kinds of ratings from the build quality to the audio quality. And in ratings.com, you can also do direct comparisons with other earbuds. And there's tons of comparisons which can be done. Like treble accuracy, weighted harmonic distribution, imaging, stability, and there are a lot of numbers. Numbers, numbers, numbers 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 right so i think these earbuds are actually quite nice the case looks durable i think it's mainly made out of plastic but it's quite sturdy and it's slightly on the larger side but it's fine with me because it still fits well in your pocket the earbuds have magnets inside them so it's easy to charge which is nice and these earbuds are also quite durable and like they're also known as like gym earbuds because it can really stay in your ear and i actually go to the gym with these earbuds and it's been staying in my ears and it's also ip57 rated which is quite nice if you want to know about ip ratings check out my description below i'm going to write everything i know about ip ratings and like i'll provide a link as well and i think audio in these earbuds are also very well done and there's also an app which you can install in your phone it's called jabra sound plus app and like please install the app if you're actually getting these earbuds because when you first get these earbuds but you need to install a lot of updates and you can only install that if you have that app with you and like you can also adjust the audio and everything inside that app which is quite nice but i really like the original audio which comes with these earbuds and i think the battery in these earbuds are also good i think it can really last eight hours in just one go but like with the case it might last for 30 hours in total for Jabra Elite Active 4, the case does not support wireless charging but they actually provide a USB-A to a USB Type-C cable so you can charge your case with that cable. I don't know why but that cable is actually extremely short and like they don't provide a socket so you kind of have to like buy a socket. Just get a normal socket with like 5 volts and like 1 ampere output and stuff like that. That's what the manufacturers also recommend. And like the only downside which I feel about these earbuds is that the buttons are a bit hard to press. Like these earbuds, they have physical buttons which you have to press which is fine 
But the thing about these physical buttons is that it's harder to press than like the rest of the Jabra Elite lineup. So when you press the physical button, you mind pushing that earbud into your ear canal even more. But for me, I don't really mind that because it just gives me an extra stable fit, which is kind of nice. Honestly, I don't feel it's much of a big deal, and you probably get used to it over time. I bought this Jabra Elite Active 4 earbuds, this is just my opinion. I'm not a tech YouTuber or anything like that. And there might be other earbuds which are more suited for you as well. Alright, that's it for this video and thank you for watching. Goodbye.